Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about our kettlebell around the world, figure eight, back to front. This exercise is used as a warm up for squats, swings, anything, but also used very heavily for barbelling, forcing you to get down into position, light weights, doing lots of reps, firing the muscles lots of times before you subject them to massive amounts of load. Feet pointed straight ahead. If your sport is different, if you're strong enough and your knees are good, do it any way you want. I like feet straight ahead and I like feet squat width apart normally. For this one, we're going into our double shoulder width distance, shoulder width pushed out, feet pointed straight ahead so that as we rotate, we're not dragging and collapsing our feet and our arches in. Feet straight ahead, knees drive out, tailbone tuck underneath. Grab the kettlebell, we're standing all the way up in the middle. We are gonna go back to front. Around the body, 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 back to front, around the body, back to front, around the body, back to front, around the body, back to front. The point of the back to front is increased complexity over time. And also people when they're doing front to back can cheat a little bit and not get low. When you're doing back to front, you are forced to get lower to make that hand transition from hand to hand smoother. If you're not getting your hand on it as you go from back to front, you need to be lower. Figure out how to get lower. Get lower. This exercise is an ab exercise. It is not a muscle focus exercise. So what muscles is it using? All of them. It's definitely using your hands. You're using your hips. You're using every muscle in your core. You're stabilizing with your shoulders. You're doing all kinds of stuff. This is a movement pattern, not a muscle working exercise. We work on movement patterns so that we can move better over time. Demonstration with heavier weight. As the weight goes up, you're going to notice the movement of the body will change. That's totally fine. If it doesn't hurt, go as heavy as you can handle. If you can do it with 48K without pain or ripping yourself in half, go for it. Pick the weight up around the body, back to front, around the body, back to front around the body, back to front, around the body, back to front. My super ugly 32K kettlebell, which is supposed to be red, but which is now faded into a lovely shade of brown. Around the body, back to front. You will notice as the weight gets heavier, the movements get a little bit crazier because the weight is dragging you further out of your center line and your body is fighting to pull itself back. That's fine. That's the point. 